With the power of love and perseverance and some plot armor, I will win this battle. Now Charmander Coon, fuse with Pidgeotto and use Thunder Blast. Fusion. Ha! Okay, Marie, use Headbutt. Oh no, your Pokemon's flinched and is paralyzed. Oh, look at this, it has fallen asleep too. And frozen. It's the fist that got lower too. And it also has a mortgage and student debt. It also just got diagnosed with exploding diarrhea and is dead. You son of a- All right, Dragonite, use a full restore. Use another full restore. Full restore. Use a 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 full restore. Shut up already. And then he was like, "Will you shut up already?" And I, I just wanted to use a full restore. That, that's all I wanted to do. What's so bad about that? <laughs> it's been 327 days of non-stop soft resetting to obtain the perfect starter Pokemon. I have resetted 428,739 times and I still don't have found my purple shiny Mudkip. My mental stays strong and I will gladly reset another half a million times if it takes that. Will I ever get this shiny Pokemon? Let's find out. No. No. No! No! Oh my god, no! Are you gonna pick a starter Pokemon or not? We've been standing here for like 50 days now! Oh my god, it's a shot! Dang it, I reset it when I got a shiny! Ah, oh, man! Ah! Oh well, let's start again. No! 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 All right, now I have to breed my special defense Pokemon that's holding a destiny knot to create the perfect Pokemon that has five maxed IVs. If I breed 294 times with a ditto until I get an impish nature, which raises its defense stat by 10%, I will then be ready to EV train on wild drowsies to max out the Pokemon stats. And then, after I give my newly made Pokemon an Eviolite, which raises its defense stat by 50% since it's unevolved, I will then be able to use a leftover Staller technique, which allows me to use Toxic and outlive the opposing Pokemon by 5.6 health. Oh, you're setting up with Swords Dance? Well, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna Earthquake, you mother God! Ah, it's so nice being back on Route 6 after becoming the champion. It's just so peaceful here. Hey, I challenge you to a Pokemon battle. Let's do that. Yeah, it's just so peaceful here. Ha. Ah. Hey. Ah. Now we're gonna work on our biceps. Just take that dumbbell right there and curl it. Here, I'll do it with you. See what I'm doing? Just curl it. You wanna squeeze that muscle. Like, like this? Right on, Professor Oak, yeah. Curl that bicep, bro. Curl it. <laughs> I shall use my strength as a traitor to pull off a convoluted scheme to rule the world. What? You want to stop me? Then we shall battle. But don't worry. I'll keep things fair and only use one Pokemon at a time, even though you probably have a level advantage. I wouldn't even use items either, or tell my 1000 Grus to hold you prisoner, when I totally could, and should, but I won't. And if you defeat me, which you probably will, I will give you money and cab fare, and I'll stop all my schemes of taking over the world just because I feel so humiliated by losing to a random 10 year old that has no influence whatsoever. Now let's stop this jibber jabbing and do the most epic battle of our lives. Now Zubat, I choose you!
heinous. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, you should check out my other parodies right here. This parody to the left is Pokemon from the NPC's perspective, and it's quite funny. And don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell.